and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews, Special K here. And tonight I'm just doing a uh, studio tour. This is going to be like a really in-depth uh, tour of the studio. Um, you guys have been asking about it. We recently did a live stream um, on tapping our K grader, and a lot of you guys were uh, wanted to see the entire studio. So if you guys haven't noticed already, the studio is just uh, actually just my garage. So uh, we converted it over about oh I'd say four years ago. Um, we actually started shooting video uh, videos in here five years ago, but we didn't like convert it over to like the full studio setup until about four years ago. So uh, we're just going to talk about some of the stuff in here, where I got it from, uh, so on and so forth. So we'll start out with this wall right here. You guys notice this is kind of like my comic and gaming wall. I got some uh, X-Men and Hulk uh, posters up there. Uh, the ones in the middle there are actually uh, from Bioshock, Bioshock 2, the collector's edition. Then I got a Zelda poster and Star Wars there, uh, that God of War poster, and that Doctor Who poster actually came from a, a few friends of mine. And then you notice I have my uh, audio set up here. Now I actually have uh, four of these tower speakers here. They're all from the uh, 90s, I'd say they're, so they're pretty old. Uh, there's Pioneer one, I have another Pioneer one right there. And then over there in the corner, I have a Technics and I have another Technic over there. Uh, so they are um, all pretty cheap. Uh, the two Technics were given to me by my uh, family, so they were my dad's. We had them. We used them growing up when I was a, a kid. The Pioneers I bought from a dude on Craigslist for like thirty bucks, so they they were pretty cheap. So make sure you notice my uh, this is my uh, record player set up here, my turntable. Uh, Fuzzy actually gave me this uh, layover here. It's pretty cool. It's a tool one. Got it from the tool show. They recently came to Louisville. It was very nice of him. Um, this is actually a birthday gift. This uh, record player. Uh, great, great record player. It's got a counterweight on it, which is what you want in a good quality record player. Um, Auto Technica, good stuff. This is my uh, stereo cabinet. This is like, uh, I would say it's vintage 90s equipment right here. Uh, this top one here is a five disc CD changer. Uh, Sony, uh, I'd say from like, I'd say mid 90s. This guy here is my receiver and my amp. Uh, pretty nice. Uh, lots of buttons, good stuff. Uh, this bottom one is my favorite thing. Uh, this is a 100 disc CD changer. I never knew those existed. When I saw it, I had to have it. I, I'm a big CD guy. I know you guys see a lot of vinyl stuff on the show, at least in the backgrounds, but actually I have a huge CD collection I keep in the house. Um, and then down there is just my tape deck. Don't use that one as much. I'm not, I don't have as many ta uh, tapes. I did have tapes when I was younger, but I don't have too many nowadays. And then down here at the bottom, that's just uh, extra stereo equipment. Uh, when you're into this like vintage stereo equipment, one thing you have to have is extra stuff because stuff breaks uh, pretty frequently. So uh, these, like uh, this, uh, this amp and receiver here, actually had some bad capacitors that I had to change out right when I bought it. But you know, I didn't pay much for this setup right here. I think I paid uh, maybe 100 bucks for all the equipment and the uh, extra equipment I have. So it's pretty, pretty, a pretty good deal, especially since those hundred CD changers are going for. A few hundred dollars on eBay last time I checked. So we got a few boxes here with some vinyls. Uh, oh. I'll briefly show you guys some of these. So this black case here is most stuff in these cases are more modern. I would say um, maybe mid '90s to uh, early 2000s in here. Um, you know, got the Weezer Blue right there. We've got Weezer Blue right here. Um, there's the Metallic Injustice for All. That one just got re-released. Oh, System of a Down, Toxicity. That also just got re-released. Uh, there's Mastodon, Blood Mountain. It's a great one. Uh, one of my favorites. We have Local Edge, just pack up the cats. Uh, all these are colored vinyls too, which is pretty cool. There's Red Fang, Only Ghosts, another great album. Uh, Jethro Tall, Original Masters, that's a, a, a like a, a compilation. Uh, there's another Local H, As Good As Dead. Um, their System of a Down, that's their first album. A wonderful one. This is the first time it was released on vinyl. Um, then we have, this is the Pixies, Andy Cindy. Have, this is Ghost, this is one of their live albums. 
a good one, by the way. Um, this one is Melvin's. This is Stoner Witch. Another great one. Oh, this is the Pixies Doolittle. Um, a great starting point if you're wanting to get into Pixies Doolittle is. Um, and this is uh, Smashing Pumpkins' new album, Shiny and Oh So Bright, Volume 1. Uh, great album. Uh, love these cases. I got them for uh, Christmas last year from my mother-in-law. Um, really, really great. Uh, this one's mostly Primus and like less playful side projects. Uh, and this one we have, oh, this is Anthrax's For All Kings. I guess somebody was using my vinyls and didn't put them up properly, but uh, great album. Uh, this is their new, that was their newest album. This is Sunny Day Real Estate, uh, also a great album. The band Sunny Day Real Estate, by the way. Um, this is uh, Promises Rhinoplasty. Uh, it's one of their offshoots. It's not a full album. It's just like a, a compilation. Uh, great stuff on there. We got Tales from the Punch Bowl. Uh, we got Antipop, one of my favorites. Brown album. Selling on sea of cheese. Uh, animals should not have to act like people. Uh, Claypool linen delirium. Great, great side project. This pork soda. Uh, miscellaneous debris. You guys probably see me wearing a shirt uh, with that logo on it. And then we have uh, oh the Claypool linen delirium's newest uh, album, uh, South of Reality. Another, another awesome album. Uh, these are also vinyl. I'm not going to like go super in-depth in these. Um, but these were given to me. I had a, a family member uh, pass away sort of recently. And uh, these were uh, his records. So uh, there's some really, really good stuff in here. Zoom in for you guys. Right on top there, Abbey Road. Billy Nelson, Always on My Mind. There's Pink Floyd. Uh, there's a Bill Cosby uh, um, comedy album, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, Alan Parsons Project, uh, Doobie Brothers, Bob Seger, Hugh Lewis in the News, Boston, uh, Mellencamp, Loverboy, Hank Williams Jr., there's the Eagles, uh, Rolling Stones, the Go-Go's, Sultans, Madonna. There's an Alfred Hitchcock Ghost Stories. That's, that was a cool one. Uh, Blondie, the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack, that's a good one. Uh, another Blondie, Queen, The Game, that's a good one. Another Blondie, uh, Billy Squire, Rob Stewart, some Van Halen, The Eagles, uh, Mr. Sinister, I'm oh, sorry, Mr. Mister, uh, Steve Perry, Kiss, you guys get the idea. Uh, these were all given to me. Um, really, really good stuff in there. Uh, we love to listen to them on the show. Generally, uh, you guys don't know this, but generally when we're like not uh, in the middle of shooting, we're putting on some records and listening to some records and stuff. So now that you guys have seen the, uh, our sort of one of our entertainment sections, we'll go ahead and move on. This chair right here, a uh, very popular chair. I paid a whole $5 for, for it from the Goodwill. Uh, it's been the best chair I've ever had. Uh, but, you know, you never know what you get from Goodwill. That's why you got to look. Uh, I would say majority of our stuff comes, a lot of our stuff comes from Goodwills or second hands or yard sales, Craigslist, stuff like that. Uh, it's the best way to go, especially when you have a lot of money. Um, there's our beer bong, wee bag there. There's our laptop that just cracked out on our live stream and we have to try to replace it. Uh, we actually just started a uh, GoFundMe on that. So if you guys want to like donate to help us get a new laptop so we can actually get back to live streaming, that would be awesome. But if you own the funds, you can always just... Uh, like and uh, comment on our videos. So I got my Final Fantasy IX poster here. Uh, this cabinet is actually where we keep all of our glassware. So you guys, I don't think anybody's seen our glassware uh, selection. This is actually, it's sort of empty right now because we just shot videos last night. But as you can see, it's where we keep all our glassware. We got our uh, stem glasses there hanging. Uh, our top here has got of our, our bigger 12 and 16 ounce glasses. Uh, the smaller, the second shelf there has got our uh, whiskey and bourbon glasses along with our small sampler glasses. And then at the bottom down there, 
is our really, really big glasses or like weird shaped ones. We don't use those as much, uh, but you know, they're great, great glasses. Up here, uh, just more storage. It's all that's up there. Mostly extra uh, lighting and stuff. Uh, it cost us about another, uh, the keg rate was only about a hundred bucks. Um, it cost us a, another hundred for the keg. Uh, this auction, this awesome mat on top here, Radar got got at a uh, bourbon festival a while back. We got our keg in here. There we go. Got the sweet baby Jesus life. Good stuff. So we got our, uh, this is the garage door here. You guys notice I got these cloth posters up there. Um, I wanted to hang something on the door, but paper rips and, you know, the door heats up and cools down and stuff. So um, we got these cloth posters. It's definitely a good idea because uh, when the doors open, they hang down. It looks really, really cool. Um, we actually, I'd say three years ago, we actually replaced this door. It was a regular and aluminum door, uh, and we switched it to an insulated door because it gets exceptionally hot uh, and cold in this garage. You notice up there, we have a few posters. There's a Bud Light one. Uh, the only reason that's hanging up is because I like all the football teams that are on it. Um, then we got a NASCAR Budweiser one over there. Um, those were given to the show. I have an uncle that uh, works construction, and he remodeled the bar, and he gave us a bunch of signs. So I would say uh, close to half of our signs came from bars. The other half uh, came from yard sales uh, that my grandmother picked up. So we get a lot of questions about this. This is my uh, game collection. Um, at the top there, we got DVDs. Uh, then we got PlayStation games, so on and so forth. But I'll do a close-up so you guys can do a see them a little bit better. So the top there, got some DVDs, some box sets for TV shows, King of the Hill, Lord of the Rings, Lost. Uh, I got the Lost and a lot of the box sets from like yard sales and like uh, half price books, places like that. Uh, Game of Thrones collection, I actually haven't had a chance to watch that. Uh, I've only got to see the first uh, season. I'm trying to read the books along with it. But I got that on Amazon on like Black Friday for like 40 bucks. It was a good deal. PlayStation 3 games. Uh, a lot of these I buy, like I said, secondhand. Um, PS4 games. My uh, 360 games. Again, now's the time to buy 360 games if you're a collector. You can get them dirt cheap. You know, you're talking three to five dollars a piece. There's a few Switch games and PSP games. More Xbox 360 games. There's a few GameCube, some PC stuff. Uh, there's some Are You Afraid of the Dark that got mixed in there. Box sets. Uh, regular Xbox. Uh, there is some more PC stuff. Honestly, I don't play my uh, Xbox One that much. Uh, I mostly stick to my PS4 and my Switch. There aren't a ton of games for it. Um, that, you know, you can't get out of the consoles. Some Wii, some Wii U stuff. A very old fan. Yeah. A very old fan. Some PS2 stuff. And over here is some box sets and some of my really older, my old, really old stuff. So up here at the top, got an original Game Boy. If I can get up there. There we go. We got an original Game Boy in the box. There's Bioshock 2 Collector's Edition. Uh, got the Game Boy from the yard sale for like five bucks, man. Good deal. Uh, got the Bioshock 2 Special Edition there. Also got that at a yard sale. The Death Smiles. Uh, I got that clearance at like a Walmart for like six bucks. But almost every box set you see here, uh, with the exception of the Tales of Symphonia one there that I paid full price for, um, the rest of these I got, most of them are under probably 15 bucks a piece. Uh, for these box sets, I got clearance. Uh, some 3DS and DS games. Um, there are a few PlayStation games. Uh, actually, I lost a lot of PlayStation games. Some of these were, I've had these since I was a kid, but uh, we had a, my house uh, caught on fire when I was little, so I lost a lot of my, uh, a lot of my the Super Nintendo and PlayStation 1 games. So um, here's some Genesis games, still in the box. Some more Genesis games. Super Nintendo, uh, there's some Japanese Super Nintendo down there. These are just some DVDs right here. Go. You guys remember watching some of our older videos, you 
probably noticed I had a pretty big uh, regular NES collection and I had some Atari stuff. I had 64 stuff. Um, I had to get rid of a lot of that. Um, you know, mostly, you know, I needed some money and we also had a baby on the way. So when I found out the baby was on the way, we had to make room for the baby and, you know, we could use some cash to redo the baby's room. So I sold my NES collection. I sold uh, my Atari 2600 collection, my Atari 7800 collection, um, and my um, N64 collection. So I had to sell all that. I was super disappointed. Um, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Over here is my controller storage. Uh, if you have a lot of controllers or you're a game collector, this is a great way to store controllers. This is just a shoe rack or a shoe hangy thingy. Um, hope controller is great. Down there, this bin just has all my cords for my game systems on it. Uh, we got the booze box and we got the radar hat right there too. Here's our good old couch. Um, we've had this one for a long time. This is my, uh, my mother's, uh, grandmother's couch. Uh, very, very comfortable. Uh, also radar's bed, as a lot of you guys know. A lot of people pass out. We actually put it on risers recently, so it would be better for live streams. Um, so there we go. This bar is from the 70s. It was my uh, wife's uh, grandmother's and grandfather's bar. Uh, very, very great bar. We just recently did a little upgrades on it since it was so old. It's kind of falling apart. So we actually put some casters all the way around it to make it a little easier to roll around the garage. Um, one thing we get asked a lot about is what camera we use. And this is the reason I'm filming on a cell phone right now because I want to show off our filming camera. This is the Nikon uh, D3300. This is what we normally use to film our videos. Um, and we have a Gigoto tripod right here. Very, very solid tripod. Um, we mostly just use these, uh, these crappy like $10 to $15 tripods, but they're not super sturdy. So we uh, went out and spent a little bit of money to get this good one. Um, it's a lot sturdier and we don't have so many issues with it. Um, we picked this camera specifically uh, when we bought it. Uh, I'd say we've been using this camera for probably three years on the show. Um, we picked this one specifically because of the manual uh, zoom and also because it has HDMI out ports and it has uh, audio in, which is very, very important when you're doing uh, YouTube. Uh, but it's been a pretty good camera. The only thing I don't like about it, because it's a DSLR, it'll only record in full 1080p in 10 minute frames. So that makes it when we do longer videos, we have to stop what we're doing and then restart the recording. It's very obnoxious. Um, but other than that, it's, it's, been a good, it's been a good camera. Moving on, got a shelf up there with storage. Uh, those are just collector's editions. There's a Pip-Boy collector's edition, Arkham Origins collector's edition, which I got for like 20 bucks. Um, and then that Borderlands special edition up there. It's, Awesome, awesome edition. I'm a huge Borderlands fan. Uh, most of the guys on the show are too. So I got this 40-inch uh, uh, um, Element TV there. Got that awesome Zima sign. Uh, my grandma picked that up at a yard sale for like six bucks. Coolest thing ever. Uh, and she gave it to me right when Zima like had a reemergence, so it was even cooler. Um, so if you look right here, I've got a bunch of game systems. I, like I said, I sold a bunch of them. But the top there, uh, starting from the left, uh, we got the PS3, Xbox 360, got my NES Classic uh, down at the bottom there. Ugh, bars in the way. We got a Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, Game, uh, GameCube, Xbox. On top of the Xbox there, we have a PS2. Then I got my Wii U, then a Wii, um, PlayStation 1. There's the Wii U gamepad, and then there is a Sega Game Gear and a Sega Nomad. So if you guys don't know what a Sega Nomad is, pretty cool. I got this also at a yard sale, but this is a Sega Nomad. It plays full-size uh, full Genesis games, uh, and it actually hook up to a TV and it'll be like a full-size Genesis. This came out like at the end of the Genesis uh, lifespan, but it was, it was a cool idea. Uh, down at the bottom there, there is my Sonic screwdriver. A Marcus bobblehead, there's a Bioshock, a, a Eve hypo back there. There's my uh, Arkham Origins uh, statue. There's my uh, Alpha Big Daddy statue. And then there is my Halo Reach statue. Oh, the cans, uh, we recycle here, so we got a nice can bin there. Uh, in those binders are actually a ton of Game Boy, uh, Game Boy uh, Color and regular Game Boy games. 
Uh, that's where I keep them stored so they don't get all dusty. So now we're to the section where you guys are probably used to seeing. So we have uh, th three guitars up there. Those are actually just Rock Band and Guitar Hero guitars. The red one's a Fender Mustang. It's actually got full strings on it. It's supposed to teach you how to play guitar. The next one's just the regular Rock Band Strat. Uh, and then the uh, old white one is just a PS2, uh, the first wireless PS2 controller for uh, Guitar Hero. We used to, we still actually play Guitar Hero pretty regularly when we're not shooting. So one thing we do almost always when we're taking a break between shoots is uh, we are, like I said, listening to records or we are playing rock band or something. Because everybody's huge music lovers on the show. Talk a little bit about some more signs up here. I got that Miller Genuine Draft sign um, to the right there. It's... It's from the, like, I'd say mid to late 80s. Uh, my grandma also got that for five bucks. Uh, Welcome to Miller Time. My grandma picked that one up. Uh, my mom picked up the Bush Drop sign and the uh, Jacob's Best sign, the shiny mirrored one. Uh, Country Boy actually gave us the Country Boy logo sign. And then the Answer the Call Budweiser sign came from my uncle as well. Um, the Kentucky logo came from an Etsy shop. They sent, it to, sent us to uh, two of them for the show, which is pretty cool. Um, that little glass thing back there uh, it says Great Brews. It's just a bottle holder. It's a pretty cool one. You guys have seen the uh, New Air fridge on the show before. Uh, it was sent to the show for review purposes. Uh, we'll take a look inside the fridge. Everybody always asks. So we got a lot of beer in here. Uh, like I said, we got rid of our larger fridge when we bought the kegerator. Um, down there at the bottom shelf is our bigger bombers and double deuces. It's barrel aged stuff. Um, some of this was sent to the show by some of our subscribers. Um, we did some beer trades. We still do beer trades. So if you guys are interested in beer trades, just hit up, up hit us up on our email and we can work something out. Um, up there at the top there, we were running out of room on the liquor shelf, so we had to start using the top of the refrigerator. Really quick before we move on to the last wall here, we got this uh, Best of Belgium sign. Uh, the party source gave us that one. Up here, we've got some bottles. It's a regular bottle of Maker's Mark. Um, these were given out at a bourbon festival. They're just bourbon bottles filled with corn. Uh, oh, a lot of people always ask about this. Uh, bottle back here it is a limited edition uh, Coors Light. I think it's from, I want to say the early, I think it's from the early 2000s or the late 90s. Not sure, but uh, I keep a lot of my band, uh, band beers up here. Also got that cool uh, Miller Genuine draft bottle display right there. That was actually uh, my uh, wife's uh, grandfather's. So that's a cool piece of history. This bottle is another one people ask about. This is a 1996 bottle of Maker, Maker's Mark. That's the, uh, from the uh, UK's uh, basketball, the NCAA championship, uh, when UK won that. So uh, that was my dad's. He gave it to me. He's not much of a bourbon drinker. Um, so maybe we've talked about cracking it open when we hit uh, 100,000 subscribers, but that'll be never, so. Uh, we've reviewed most of that. There might be one or two bottles up there that we reviewed or maybe we reviewed in the video maybe got deleted or something along those lines. Um, but, you know, if you guys haven't seen our channel, let us know. We'll, we'll hit it up. Back here is our charging station. That's why we have this flag hanging here so you guys don't see it on camera because it looks like crap. That's where we charge our batteries and charge our phones. Got, I've got a few uh, more music, music things going on here. I've got a, this is a sign, Kill Switch Engage poster from their album Disarm to Descent. Uh, I got that uh, because I, I was one of the first people to pre-order the new album. Um, this is from, Kill Switch is one of their first albums. Um, that's a signed CD, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, there is a, 
is a crowbar album. It's also signed. There is another signed Kill Switch album. I'm sorry, signed Kill Switch poster. Again, I got most of these from uh, pre-ordering albums or like box sets. Uh, I picked this one up at the Anthrax show in um, Tennessee we went to not too long ago. There's a Scott Ian's uh, pick, and there's a sign for All Kings, which is pretty awesome. This isn't signed, but it's from the uh, show a few years ago. We actually did, a, uh, me and Mingo did a vlog of this video. It didn't do very well, so we didn't do any more vlogs uh, on KBR. But we did go to that show. It was a good show. Here's a rare uh, Level H promo, um, which is pretty cool. There is a uh, Les Claypool a limited edition poster from one of the side projects. This is my roast, uh, most recent edition. Uh, this was kind of the same thing. You were one of the first people to pre-order the new Claypool and Delirium album. Uh, you got this signed poster signed by uh, Les Claypool and Sean Lynn, which is pretty cool. That is the Metallica Yum Center poster. Metallica came through Louisville pretty recently, and that's where that poster came from. It was part of the um, VIP package. This one is one of my favorites. Uh, this is a signed Hey Killer album. I got to meet Scott Lucas. Uh, he was nice enough to sign an album. I was super, super sick at the show, so I could barely talk. So my wife and Prairie Dog had to talk for me, but it was nice enough uh, for him to sign that for me. Uh, and he even gave us a little bit of a, a discount on some of the merch. So uh, pretty cool show. All right, well, that, that about wraps up the studio tour. Uh, if there's something you guys uh, see that I didn't cover, just let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can't answer a question for you guys. Um, and thanks for watching.